Hey guys, it's Ash, and today we're gonna do some super queen farming uh, along with some giants and hog riders. We have 12 giants, 6 hog riders, a bunch of barbarians and archers, and 8 wall breakers. And it's just a super fun method of farming Dark Elixir. So let's head in. Okay, guys, this base is loaded over 800,000 in total. Um, let's see, he has his queen on the left side. Uh, in that case, we're gonna start with the queen from the top. We're gonna start with the queen walk from the top here and have her either uh, walk towards the left or towards the right. And then we're gonna make an entry point towards one of those heroes. That way, we deal with one of them at a time. And also, uh, we avoid the empty spaces here because it's very possible there are uh, double giant bombs there. So here, she's uh, getting targeted by multiple point defenses two archer towers hmm should we use a rage spell yeah we're gonna have to use a rage spell here bring, bring her back to life and uh let's see she should be able to take out the archer tower here and then go for the mortar and let's see she's gonna go for that elixir collector but look at the healers they're getting targeted by that archer tower okay let's send in three hog riders to quickly take out that archer tower uh to safeguard our healers okay there we go and uh, yeah, that's one of the main reasons I have the Hog Riders. Oh no, <laughs> again, that air defense, just because of that weird angle with our healers. But we still have two of them, which is, I mean, no, three of them. We still have three of them, so that's still very good. And what we'll do here is create an entry point. We'll send out one, two, three, one, two, three here, three giants uh, per defense over there. And then we're gonna spread some archers on the sides here and here and then open up that first layer of wall and there we go send out the rest of the giants send out our king and behind them all send in our archers to shoot over the wall and uh, look at our queen she's targeting that wall so let's help her out with the wall breaker there and let's open up that wall for our troops on that side so we'll send out two, two more wall breakers here and we'll use a rage spell onto those wall breakers watch the rage spell guys it's gonna open up all of those layers of walls come on come on can we open up oh, almost but we have two more wall breakers but they're gonna go after that wizard tower unfortunately uh, but let's see we have the queen at the core let's send out those three hog riders from that direction look at where they're coming from they're gonna come from all the way from the uh, from two o'clock to go after that Tesla and the defenses surrounding that core we have the king taking out the town hall so that's just perfect right there um, let's see we have those hog riders they're targeting the mortar and we're gonna now use let's see should we use the king's ability yet um, hey look <laughs> the healers have gone on to heal the king so we're gonna activate his ability here quickly to remove that air defense before it takes out all of our he healers we only have one healer left hopefully that's enough for our king over here um, we still haven't activated our queen's ability Unfortunately, couldn't get that one gold storage up there. Uh, our queen is at the back here. The healers are now recovering the barbarians. We have like three seconds left. So yeah, um, unfortunately, couldn't get that last gold storage, but we still got a whopping over 700,000 in total resource. Awesome. Okay, guys, found another base that's loaded. Uh, let's see. Um, queen's inactive, king's up top. So let's start off by testing that clan castle. It's empty, nice. And uh, now we're gonna send out our queen. Ah, uh, let's see, there's too many point defenses, two cannons and an archer tower there. Only a cannon and a wizard tower here. So we'll send her out right here, four healers. And let's have her travel either towards uh, the top or towards the right. Let's see, she's gonna remove that and then the drill and we'll have her go up so we're gonna remove this camp quickly with some archers and hopefully that should have her go towards the left yep so instead of attacking the camp because we removed the camp she's gonna go for the collector and make her way up top nice and then she's gonna remove the camp remove the air defense as well so what we'll do is create an entry point right here at the top where all of these defenses are the cannon and archer towers that pose as a big threat for your queen since they're point damage targeting uh, defenses. 
Um, so we're gonna send out our troops from that direction. And let's send in one, two, open up there, and one, two here, and a rage spell right here. And that's gonna open up both of those layers, hopefully, with the wall breakers. Oh, only the first layer, unfortunately. But let's see, our queen here is gonna target the wall, unfortunately. Uh, we have the king, I mean, we have the <laughs> giants walking uh, in this direction. So, what we'll do here is Let's see, we have the queen and she should make her way towards that direction. Um, yeah, she's gonna go for the Dark Elixir storage and the Town Hall soon enough. And let's see, she's getting targeted by two Expos, but once she removes that Expo, she should be able to recover back quickly here. So now she's only being targeted by one Expo. So with the four healers, she's gonna quickly recover back. Nice. And uh, let's see here, um, we have an archer tower, a cannon, a tesla over here. So what we'll do is, uh, by the time she gets closer to that archer tower, we're gonna deploy our clan castle troops, whatever clan castle troops we have, uh, to distract that archer tower. And then we might send, okay, there we go. See that archer tower targeting our uh, queen? We're gonna send out the clan castle troops and then three more hog riders onto that cannon. So that's gonna remove those defenses and have our Queen heal back up again. So 24 seconds left. Uh, we have some Clan Castle Wizards. Nice. And let's see, there's a Tesla. We still haven't activated our Queen's ability, of course. 15 seconds left. And here we're gonna activate her ability to grab the two storages. Nice. With nine seconds left, activate her ability here. And there we go. Three seconds, but yeah, that's gonna do it. And we have, let's see, how much did we get? We got around 300,000 and over 400,000, again over 700,000 in total, awesome. Okay guys, let's do one more attack. The loot is very good today. Uh, lots of resource again here. He has a queen on the left, king on the right. So that means we're gonna start with our queen on the top or bottom, let's see. Uh, cannons and archer tower here. Um, okay, we're gonna start from the bottom then since he has one less cannon as you guys can see, elixir collector right here. Uh, so we're gonna attack from the uh, bottom here and she should make her way, let's see. Is, is she gonna go, yeah, she's gonna go towards the right. She's gonna target that barrack right afterwards. And uh, actually, no, she might, mm, let's see. Yeah, she's gonna go towards the right, okay. In that case, we're gonna form our entry point somewhere at the top right as she makes her, oh no, what? She now went left. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter, either way is great. Because uh, because he has his queen on the left, so what we can do is then make our entry point there and take out the queen, and also may have to use a rage spell here to open out towards the core. So let's see here. Oh no, what is she doing? Why is she targeting the wall? <laughs> um, in that case, what we'll do is then form our entry point here, spread our giants around, and then archers around, and in the center, barbarians and open up that first layer with the wall breakers. And there we go, archers behind. And right behind all of these defenses, um, as our, okay, let's open up that wall for that giant. And right behind all of our giants here, we're gonna send out our hog riders because those troops are going to shield for our hog riders. So watch this guys, hog riders coming in. They're gonna remove the cannon. Oh no, a giant bomb there. <laughs> Um, in that case, what we'll do is send out wall breaker. Look at where that wall breaker is going to target. He's going to go all the way there. So what we'll do is place a rage right here. And watch those wall breakers. They're also going to open up for our queen, hopefully. No, they went for the top wall, not the bottom. So our queen is still targeting that wall. But look at that. We have all our troops inside the core. Uh, giants with archers behind. Take out the mortar. Nice. No more splash at the core. Awesome. So now we have the queen here at the core. We're not gonna use another rage spell just because we don't need to, as our queen can now just freely target over the walls. She can target all of those storages. Um, but I'm hoping that she makes her way towards the top because there's elixir and gold storage up there. Here she's targeting that wizard tower. Don't target the wall, please. Come on, come on, go up. Okay, there we go. I was afraid that she might go for the wall. Uh, so she's gonna go for the storage. We have 20 seconds left. I'm not gonna activate her ability just yet. 
Let's see, she's gonna go for the storage, and then, yeah, she's probably gonna go for the air defense. Um, okay, activate her ability here, 13 seconds. Come on, come on, yes, yes, she's gonna go for the elixir storage. Awesome, just seven seconds left, and she's back at full health as well. And three, two, one, and that should do it. So how much was that? Awesome, again, almost around 700,000. So yeah, lots of great raids today. Loot is very good right now. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed those attacks. I'll see you guys again soon. Later.